guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Halloween is here this Thursday. So guys, let's have some fun with Halloween. In this tutorial, I will show to you how you can create 3D beach pad from scratch in Adobe Photoshop and finish working on your project in Adobe Dimension. So guys, let's start. I have opened Adobe Photoshop and uh, I have created my simple document. You can create your document in any size you like. Also, you can use any color for your background. Everything is up to you. Now I have only one layer. I would like to bring your attention that currently I am in 3D workspace. To switch between workspaces, simply go to window, workspace, and you can click on any workspace. As you can see, I am in my 3D workspace. Now I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to the curvature pen tool. In the options bar, I will specify that I would like to create path, not shape, path. And using the curvature pen tool, I will create my first curvature point. To create your first um, curvature point, you can click anywhere in your document, just like that. And voila, you are ready to go. So using the curvature pen tool, I will create which um, path uh, pass just like that. Guys, you can create your um, pass, basically your uh, which path in any size you like, any style you like. Everything is up to you. No rules is here, guys. It's your creation. It's your art. Now I will close this shape, this pass, and we are ready to start working on our 3D um, object. Uh, before you will start working on 3D object, uh, pay attention to your path. If you need to adjust anything, adjust right now using the same curvature pen tool. You don't need to switch to any other tool. Using same the curvature pen tool, simply adjust your path shape or shape if it needed. Just like that. I like everything about uh, this path and I'm ready to start working on my 3D object. So in 3D uh, panel, I will specify source, work path, not selected layers, not current selection, not file, work path. I will click on 3D extrusion and I will click on create and voila. In properties panel, I will specify deformation axis to um, middle right, just like that. I will switch to deform workspace and here I will change the horizon angle to 360, just like that. I will switch back to my um, mesh uh, workspace and I will adjust extrusion depth just slightly, just like that to close this gap inside. And voila, believe or not, we are done. What I will do now, I will go to 3D menu and I will click export 3D layer. I will specify 3D file format. I will specify 3D format format to water, um, waterfront OBG, just like that. I will click OK. I will specify um, a place where I want to save uh, this file. I will rename it, pod, just like that. And I will click save, just like this. Now I will launch Adobe Dimension and I will go File, Import, 3D Model. And here I have our uh, object we just created with you in Photoshop. I will click on it and I will click Open, just like that. Guys, don't be scared if you cannot see your object. You will see this white dot, click on it and Voila, how easy is it? First of all, I would like to adjust my horizon line in Adobe Dimension document. I will click on a horizon tool. I will bring my horizon line down and I will change angle just like that. Now guys, what I will do, I will switch to a dolly tool and I will move my path on a distance just like this. And I'm happy with everything. So this is our path. Now, in Adobe Dimension, we have huge default assets. We have a lot of models. 
we have a lot of materials, lights, and also we have images. I will click on models um, library. I will scroll it down, and here, guys, um, we have a batch, uh, beach towel um, model. So don't don't pay attention to a uh, beach towel. Just click on it, just like that, and voila! What I will do? I will use beach towel object as my um, uh, tablecloth. Simple. First of all, I need to resize it. I will click on a select and a scale tool. I will click and hold uh, shift key and I will resize it. I will make it bigger, just like this. Maybe something like that. Yes, just like this. I love it. Let's see. Mm, maybe not like this. I will switch to select and move tool and I will move my beach towel, my tablecloth like this. And I'm happy with it. Now, I would like to add another 3D object. I will scroll my library down and here we have a lot of objects. Um, I will click on crystal using select and move tool. I will bring my crystal up front of my um, part, um, beach pad just like this. If I will need to resize it, I will switch to uh, select and scale tool and I will make it slightly bigger. Perfect. Now I'm happy. Probably I will add um, two more uh, 3D models later on. For now, I would like to start um, applying my uh, personal touches to my pot, to uh, tablecloth and to this crystal. I will click on uh, layer number two. Layer number two, layer two, it's our um, uh, pot we, uh, we have created in Adobe Photoshop. I selected it. I will click on um, materials and here guys we have a lot of amazing materials we can work with i will click on this geometric material and voila i like this material but i would like to apply my all my personal touches what i will do first of all i will click on a color icon just like that and i will change color for my material i will i would like to use um a black color, or maybe dark uh, gold color, just like this. Also, I would like to change a uh, pattern uh, selection. You can use any you any pattern you like. It's up to you. Also, I can um, adjust roughness and metallic. Guys, everything is up to you. So. I will um, move metallic slider slightly to the um, right, about 0.7, and I adjusted my roughness slider to 0 0.32, um, 30, uh, and I'm happy with uh, this uh, material for my pot. How about tablecloth? I will be back to my scene panel. I will click on beach towel. It beach towel, but in our creation, it's a tablecloth. And in same uh, material library, we have very beautiful smooth silk material. I will click on it and I will change color for my material. I will change color uh, of this material to dark burgundy color. Also, I will uh, adjust metallic slider. I will move metallic slider all the way to the right and I will move um, Roughness slider, let's see, to the right, 0 0.5. Also, guys, I will click on um, pattern intensity slider and I will move it slightly, slightly to the right. How about technical parameters? I will click on technical parameters um, um, folder to expand it. And maybe I will change something in here. No, I, I will not change anything. I'm happy with everything. Yes, I'm happy with my material. Maybe, guys, yes, this is what I will do. I will move my wrinkle slider all, almost all the way to the right, about 0 0.93. Let's preview. I will click to expand um, render preview window 
and let's preview our um, project so far. I love this. I love contrast between um, burgundy tablecloth and black um, witch pot. Let's continue working on our project. I will be back to scene panel. I will click on my crystal and here guys we have a lot of um, materials we can apply to our crystal. We can apply water, uh, frosted um, um, water or damaged crystal. I will click on damaged crystal just like this. Let's preview. Guys, look at this. We are very, very close. I will be back to my scene panel. I will click on environment tab. And in, in the properties panel, I will specify background color to black, just like this. And let's preview. Look at this, guys. How cool is it? Um, I love my uh, design, but I think I need to add one or two more uh, models. What I will do? I will switch back to my models library and here guys we have splash a model. I will click on it. Using select and move tool I will bring it up front of my pot just like that. I will lift it up and I will send it kind of uh, inside of my pot. I love it. This is how I want it. It's kind of splash of something uh, which our witch is making for uh, Halloween. I will switch back to uh, materials and here we have water material. I will click on it and voila. Let's preview. Yes, I'm happy with everything. Time to start working on our light. I will switch to lights library and here guys you can see we have a lot of lights we can work with. But because we are working on Halloween design, on Halloween image, I would like to create something very special for Halloween evening for which house. I will click on studio color uh, stage light and voila, Le look at this. For my taste, it's um, a little bit dark. Um, what I will do, I will move intensity slider slightly to the right. Maybe I will change rotation of this light. Yes, just like this. Let's preview, guys. A look at this. How awesome is it? Can we add extra personal touches to our project? Sure, we can. To add my, a few more personal touches to my uh, project, I will enable sunlight light, just like that. Look at this, it's already something very different, something very unique. Uh, I can uh, increase or decrease intensity of my sunlight. Cloudness, I will move my cloudness slider uh, to the right, about 67%. Uh, percent. I can adjust height for my um, sunlight and also I can adjust rotation. Guys, everything is up to you. Because I enabled my uh, sunlight light, it doesn't mean I cannot adjust my uh, environment light. What I will do, I will be back to my environment light uh, workspace and I will move identity slider more to the right, almost all the way to the right. Let's preview. Guys, in here, our witch pot. Um, after I'm happy or you happy with everything, with your design, with your style, with your composition, time to render our uh, or your <laughs> project. Simply click on render, just like that. Specify um, a file name. I will specify Halloween but just like that quality of course high why do i need to uh, render my project in low or medium quality if i'm sure i love this design so i will not up, um, apply any changes to it so i'm happy with everything and this is my final step rendering is my final step so i will click high 
and also I will specify PSD um, export format. Format. Why? Because uh, if I would like to continue working on my project in Adobe Photoshop, uh, I will have all layers available for me. After I specify everything uh, I want, I will click Render and voila. Uh, we, need, uh, we will need to give a uh, dimension a few seconds to analyze our image and our project and dimension will start our rendering. After dimension will finish uh, our rendering, we will be able to open our file in Photoshop or save um, anywhere you like. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, if you will create anything after this tutorial, as usual, uh, share on Twitter and tag me in your creation. I really would like to see what you will create after this tutorial. Thank you for your time. Super appreciated. If you have any questions, just ask. Thank you, guys. I will see you later. Happy Halloween. Bye.